Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to use two eFootball accounts on your iPhone. It's a simple process, but first, make sure you have enough storage space on your device, as we'll need to install a second eFootball app. Let's get started. First, I've provided two links in the description box below. Open the first link, and you'll see this type of interface on your screen. Scroll down and click on an Install DNS Profile. Once you do that, tap Allow, and the profile will start downloading. Now, go to your iPhone settings, tap the General, then scroll down to VPN and Device Management. Here, you'll see the profile we just downloaded. Tap on it and install the profile as shown on the screen. After the DNS profile is installed, a new app will appear on your iPhone. Open the app and scroll down. From here, tap on a download eSign new cart, just like shown on the screen. Once the eSign new cart app is installed, open it. If you see a message on your phone saying something like untrusted developer, go to your settings, tap a general, then a VPN and device management. Here, trust the Vietnam electricity and go back to the app. Now, open this app again and scroll down. Click a download eSign certificate. Then, choose the open in eSign option. This will redirect you to the eSign app. Inside, tap eSign certs and unzip it. Now, open the eSign certs folder and import the Vietnam Electricity eSign certs file. Next, go to the second link in the description to download the eFootball IPA file. This process might be a bit annoying as a lot of ads pop up, but just be patient and wait for the download to finish. I've already downloaded the IPA, so I'm going to cancel this one. Now, open the eSign app again. Tap on the three dots and import the eFootball IPA file you just downloaded. This will take a bit of time to import. Once the file is imported, tap on the apps section. Here, you should see the eFootball app. Tap on it, and then tap Signature. You'll need to add some extra text in the Bundle Identifier section. For now, I'm adding one here. Tap on Signature to begin the signing process. This will take a few minutes, so be patient. Once it's finished, you'll get the option to install the app. Tap Install, and you'll see that the eFootball app starts downloading. Once the process is done, you'll have two eFootball apps on your iPhone. Let me show you that I'm logged into different accounts on each one. And that's it. Now you can easily use two eFootball accounts on your iOS device. If this tutorial worked for you, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.